Now to the latest regarding Israel at war. President Biden becomes the first U.S. president to visit Israel during wartime. And then he announces he's going to address the nation in a prime time address Thursday. My message to any state or any other hostile actor thinking about attacking Israel remains the same as it was a week ago. Don't. President Biden in Tel Aviv Wednesday after meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Just as a civilized world united to defeat the Nazis and united to defeat ISIS, the civilized world must unite to defeat Hamas. I can assure you, Mr. President, Israel is united to defeat Hamas. Biden's visit producing a breakthrough. At Biden's request, Israel agreed to allow Egypt to deliver limited quantities of life-saving aid to civilians in the south of the Gaza Strip on the condition it does not go to Hamas terrorists. Biden also announcing $100 million in U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance and plans to ask Congress for an unprecedented support package for Israel's defense. We must keep pursuing peace. We must keep pursuing a path so that Israel and the Palestinian people can both live safely. The president also backed up claims Israel was not responsible for Tuesday's deadly airstrike on a Gaza hospital, citing data he was shown by the Defense Department. He's got to prepare the nation for what's coming. A retired Marine intelligence officer and global security expert, Hal Kempfer. Can we expect American troops to get involved in this conflict? I don't know. Uh, I keep hearing no boots on the ground, but the president was a little vague today when he was talking about how we're going to get our hostages back. What can we expect from Biden's rare Oval Office primetime address Thursday night? He's got to prepare the nation for what Iran might do, what Hezbollah might do. And he's also going to talk about this in context of the war in Ukraine and how this is putting a strain on U.S. resources. Now, the White House says the humanitarian aid will start moving into Gaza Friday. That's at the earliest about the president's primetime address tomorrow night. We will carry that live for you right here on the Fox 11 News at 5 o'clock.